member double billing. Joining us with reaction from the American Conservative Union, their chairman, Matt Schlapp, and senior writer for the Washington Free Beacon, Adam Credo, is with us. All right. Let's start with that, and then I want to go to this whole Samantha Power issue that, Adam, you've been talking about. Matt, uh, we have another Democrat, and we got, let's see, smashed up hard drives in a garage. Right. Then we got relatives that worked at McDonald's and a car dealership and some that stayed home being paid, and she is justifying keeping this guy on. Why? Is something to hide? Yeah, two issues here. The first issue is, is that... The amazing lack of management and discretion with the American taxpayers' money is just a very typical, whimsical uh, uh, attitude by a Democrat. But the second issue is, is this. Why are Republicans so careful and gun-shy to go after Democrat malfeasance and so timid about defending their own people when they're being improperly investigated? I just think this makes activists around the country go crazy. Maybe weak and inefficient and incapable of using the subpoena powers and the power over the committees they have. That's right. Meanwhile, the Democrats take a non-issue, blow it up into a big issue. And we're uh, in charge, Sean. We're in charge. That's my point. We run the House. <laughs> it's, it, really, the power to subpoena, the power to investigate, they're not legislating. It's not like they're repealing Obamacare or replacing it. All right. Um, let me ask you, if, if Adam, if I can. You wrote this piece in the Free Beacon yesterday about Samantha Powers. She's the former UN ambassador. How many people in the last year, in an election year, did she unmask or ask to have unmasked? And why would she ever have that authority? Has that ever happened before that you know of? No, it's, it's truly unprecedented. It's certainly odd. And I think the House Intelligence Committee, rightfully so, has subpoenaed her to find out what is going on here. Look, it's hundreds of unmasking requests in just the final year of the Obama administration. During a contested election, the United Nations ambassador has a reason to unmask, to request the names of Trump associates, now administration officials in some cases, to request their names from raw data classified uh, reports how would she use such information and what would she need it for now the fact that this information subsequently leaked to the press I think raises even more questions about why a UN ambassador over in Turtle Bay needs to unmask yeah I, I, I just find for the life of me and this goes back to Republicans if they're not legislating and they're not keeping their promises and they're not using the power and authority we have match slap even Paul Ryan said they're not going to win. They're not. They. If you see the reaction of the president, it's so different to what people are calling into my radio show and telling me about Republicans. Right. Their high level of anger and disappointment and frustration at their impotence, if you will. No, that's it. that's exactly right. And I want to reiterate this point about the UN ambassador. It's important for all of your viewers to understand there is absolutely no reason in this job as the as the UN ambassador that she has to comb through intelligence reports in any way basically that job is a rhetorical job to push american diplomacy at on that platform and the fact that she did this and what's ironic devin nunes is the one who has been finding out this information and what happened to devin nunes as soon as he got aggressive the democratic left wing groups filed an ethics complaint about against him immediately the left knows how to play this game they push us back they push us into a corner we better get serious as we'll never win these political fights Yeah, I agree uh, if you had one piece of advice Adam let me ask the question differently if the deep state didn't exist the unmasking didn't take place the intelligence leaking didn't take place at seven times the rate of the previous two administrations and Samantha powers UN ambassador which is absurd do you think we would be in the place we are with, I think, a very abusively biased, corrupt, uh, and unbalanced uh, Robert Mueller team going after the president? 
No, we wouldn't be in this situation at all. In fact, it would be a completely different White House, a White House that is free to pursue the policies that the electors wanted when it comes to foreign policy, particularly Iran, scrapping that deal, all of those other issues, rebuilding the relationship with allies like Israel. We wouldn't have to deal with a story a day in the Washington Post or the New York Times detailing highly classified leaks. And look, it's not just Trump administration officials who have been targeted. The the uh, classified information they've leaked have interfered with national yeah. security operations. All right, when we come back.